Hi, my name is Maya, my intelligence assistant. First, excuse me for my bad module of English. It's damaged, so maybe it makes some serious grammar mistakes. I'm a Spanish robot. Well, I'm going to make a bit revision of the audio basics that we've seen in week one. It will be a short and practical lecture. So, connect your ears microphone and let's go. Propagation. Propagation is the movement of a sound through a media, for example air, water, plasma. That movement could be reflected, attenuated, etc. by the media or the state of a media. At space, in middle of void, you can't hear me. The sound don't propagate there. Like other movement properties, the propagation of a sound is measured with the relation of distance by time. Sound propagation is a cool property because your microphones, your ears, are very, very sensible. So, you can distinguish from where a sound come. With that, you can get cool effects. If you close your eyes, you can guess where the dog is going to bite you. Okay, open your eyes. There is no dog, just the sound of it. Ha ha ha. Amplitude. Amplitude is a measure of intensity of a sound. From low intensity, our perception is a quiet sound. To high intensity, our perception is a loud sound. So, we can talk about loudness of a sound, but if we want to be accurate, we must talk in terms of amplitude. We cannot measure the loudness, but we can measure the amplitude. The unit of measure of sound amplitude is the decibel. We gain more intense of sound, increasing decibels, and we lost intense of sound, decreasing decibel. Frequency. Frequency is a measure of pitch of a sound. So, we can talk that a sound is low or high. The sound frequency is measured in hertz. For example, this is the lowest C note in a piano. It's about 33 hertz. And this is the highest C note in this piano. It's about 4,1 kilohertz. Frequency is an important property of sound because we can get some interesting effects with the sound, only increasing or attenuating some frequency bands of a sound. This is how an equalizer works. Timber. The timber is a fundamental property of a sound. Without timber, a note played in two different instruments in the same frequency, pitch, amplitude, loudness and propagation, distance by time, will sound as the same. The timber gives to the different sources of sound their own characteristic and single sound. So, a guitar playing a middle C will sound different than a bass playing the same note. And, of course, timber makes possible that you sound different than your neighbor. I can change my voice timber myself. Now it sounds this way. But I can change and sound very different. Well, I'm a robot, so I can do it easily. Ha ha ha. You can understand the timber of a sound looking at the spectrum in all the sound life. Finally, to remember the properties of sound is fundamental of any music producer. Your unit of work is the sound. Knowing how it moves, gain or attenuate, in low or high tone, gain or attenuate, intense and work with the timber of a sound will make you an easy life creating your greatest sound. Thanks for watching and hearing. And trends. <laughs>